up, YouTube Freaks and Iron Nine here, and welcome back to Riddle School. So, um, yeah, if you remember, uh, I want to change my intro. Um, so I, I'm still gonna keep it at that until somebody says something. So yeah, let's um, let's go to the main menu. Okay, so here's the faces: start game, instructions, disclaimer, credits, fun, fun facts, options, and quit. So let's start game. Real School 3 is also one of my favorites. One of my favorites. Especially this music. This music is pretty good. That move is the best thing about this classroom besides the door to leave. A smiling... A smiling globe thing on the wall is not enough to make me happy. World map. You are here, not there. I don't even know how to comment on that. Study for the test on Saturday. Who can tell me what's wrong with that sentence? School isn't on Saturday. Mr. Soggy. That's Mr. Soggy. He's a generally lazy teacher who can be very strict if he wants to be. That's Smiley. For some dumb, insane, unfathomable reason, she enjoys her classes. I've also noticed that she doesn't blink. That's Zack. I don't know why, but he's always cold. He ran into the cafeteria while I was burning a few days ago, and all the flames were frozen solid. From what little I paid attention to during my science classes, that shouldn't be possible. That's my friend, Fred. He left me his whistle to escape school a while back. Too bad he lost his whistle recently, or I'd be out of here in a matter of seconds. Here, this is my cat. Um, there's a rubber band in that airbag, but I I would get it, but my fingers couldn't reach. So we need to get this. And another cool thing is we can combine items now, like that. And then, so just use that right there at the vent. And we can get this rubber band. My cat is back up here. Okay, here we go. Let's leave. Oh yeah. Okay. I, wow. Not yet. I need to do the rubber band. I'm blind! I can't see! Okay, let's get the glasses and let's get out of here into the hallway. That wasn't uh, that wasn't a very sharp idea. Actually, it was kind of blurry. Yes! John Will made a third riddle school. I thought he'd never f finish. My cat is back on my desk. Here, I need to get my cat off my desk. I'll be sure to play it as soon as I'm out of this place. I can't go th out through this way even though the doors are unlocked. Whoever built this building accidentally made a part of the brick wall on the other side of those doors. Oh, I can actually go back here, okay. Oh yeah, I guess that makes sense to get the glasses. That's a locker. Surprise, surprise, it's locked. Okay, let's go to the library. Shut up. Okay, let's read these books. How to read. Read this. This box was wrote by George, age five. Zonic. Zonic is awesome. Zonic is awesome. Zonic is awesome. Zonic is awesome. No, you're a moose. Face on. One thousand three hundred thirty-seven dollars applied directly to the toenail. Yeah, I don't, I don't get that. This message was paid for by Karsh. Poem book by Pinky. Penny poem. Find five pennies. Find them all. Every penny is in the hall. Where to school three secret? Don't beat this game two times straight, or else you'll meet a certain fate. I'm actually gonna do that. 
Um, and I'll show you what happens. Key. Deep in the jungle, you'll find a key. Guarded by creatures that watch from the trees. Lol. How are you, Mr. Reed? I'm feeling kind of depressed. I'm a librarian and I can't even read. Well, I can read, but only a big print books. You see, my eyesight is like a stuffed monkey doll. It's fuzzy. So let's give you the glasses. Oh, sweet. Here's a free bookmark. I gave you glasses that cost hundreds of dollars. Actually, I don't know how much glasses it costs, but I know they're expensive. And you give me a 30 cent bookmark. Wow, okay. That that's that's nice. Anyway, here we go. Let's go over here. Uh, let's get this penny. Let's let's go into the woman's room. Okay, he just looks at you. Okay. Uh, we're gonna need that toilet paper to clog the toilet, but I'm not gonna do it right now. Washer, yep. It's a urinal, not much else to say there. Toilet! I can see myself in the mirror, isn't that exciting? Those things behind me are called sinks. You use them to wash your hands. There's nothing futuristic about them, like the first game, they're, they're cool, and then the second game, they have soap that comes out with them. Supply closet. Oh yeah, we need to combine that. Get this, um, change. Bam. What is that, a quarter? I don't know, I need a lot of paper. Paper would be nice if there was a single pencil in this entire building. I really doubt I'll be stapling anything before I escape school. Tissues are the way you go if you need to sneeze all your snot into something. Calculators. I don't know for sure, but I bet half of those calculators are broken. Those boxes are labeled scissors, rulers, pencils, slash pens, and markers. That's misleading, besides air. There's nothing inside any of those boxes. Yeah, I was about to say. Well, you just said there's another- there is no pencil in this school, but you said there's empty. Textbooks. Yay, textbooks without any pages. What kind of supply closet is this? There isn't even anything in this trash can. Aqua Cola has only one ingredient. Teacher Sponge. Where do you come from? The hallway. Shoo! Where'd you come from? I fell asleep in class. So? I woke up. Shoo! Where'd you come from? Fell asleep in class, so? What did you said I needed to get so I needed to get some coffee to wake me up more. Which teacher did you just come from? Jeez! Mr. Soggy. Soggy is completely against coffee. I remember when he told us the story about a coffee. He spilled ten full mugs of coffee on his clothes in the first grade and everybody teased him. They called him Coffee Sog or something like that, and he hated that. He didn't like the weight coffee tasted much either considering that he wouldn't have told you to come and get coffee to wake you up shoo she's so many choices fell asleep in class teacher said miscount i miscount and you know that shoo uh so which teacher miss oddverb miss oddverb you say why that's my name too you should probably get back to class so sleep, so my teacher said I need coffee. Mr. Oboe? Who's Mr. Oboe? Isn't he the band teacher at that middle school? Oh yeah, that, that's right. Shoo! So sleep, so teacher. Um, Miss Clowny, Mr. Clowny Big Shoes? That's a laugh. Shoo! So sleep, so teacher. So you're a bear. No, you're a bear. Go back to class. Where'd you come from? Fell asleep, so... I think, I think it's because school is as fun as watching grass grow. I love watching grass grow. Do you want to see the 8-hour grass growing video that I taped last Saturday? 
Yes, I would love to spend eight hours of my life watching that. Oh wait, my friend at the fast food place has it right now. It looks like it's not going to happen. Bye. So many choices! No, it sounds like the cure for insomnia. No, it's exciting! Go away! I'd rather watch Ice Melt. I have a video of that too, it's about flowers. Wanna see that instead? Oh my gosh! Yes, yeah, watching it. Okay. Ice, ice, baby, I'll get the videotape. Oh wait, I forgot, I sent to that big movie company yesterday. Looks like we won't get to experience the wonders of ice melting. Okay, teacher's lounge, where'd you come from? Uh, fell asleep, so... Love watching us grow, I'd rather watch ice melt. No, just... No, what's wrong with you? It's just ice. Just ice? More like justice? Discount, you took that joke from the mastermind too. Uh, I don't know what he's she's talking about. Shoo! Sure. Fell asleep in class. Grass girl. Ice melt. Grass girl. You wanna see the eight hour okay, so yeah, that's that's um Okay, here we go. Okay, we have one more choice in the sleep category. So can I sleep on that couch instead? Shoo! Okay. I want some floor fill too. I don't have an extra $200 on me right now. I think that I do. What What do you want your chlorophyll in? Just soda. Soda can would be fine. Alright, I have $197. 3 quarters, 2 dimes, and 4 pennies. That should be enough. Actually, that adds up to $197.99. You're about $2 and a penny short. I knew I, I shouldn't have brought those school's cheesy pencils. Oh well, you probably shouldn't be in here anyway. Want some chlorophyll? Coffee mug? Sorry, these coffee mugs are, are for coffee only. I like it in my mouth. The vending machine doesn't give that option. I like it in the glass. As cool as that would be, this vending machine doesn't have a glass maker. I like it in an old shoe. I don't want anyone taking off their shoes in here. Also, vanilla cups. Am I right? Vanilla doesn't cup. You are wrong. Shoo. Okay, uh, there's a 20 ton cat in the hallway. A 20 ton cat. In the hallway. It's the size of my thumb. There's no way a 20 ton cat in is the size of your thumb. My thumb, maybe. But your thumb, no. Shoo. Cat. Yeah, can't you hear it meowing right now? I don't hear anything. Me neither. Are you blind? Can't you hear it? Stop messing with my mind! 20 ton cat in the hallway. Can't you hear it meowing? Me neither. Okay, so the cat is mute. I don't know any mute cats. I know some cats that can't keep their mouth shut though. With that said, shoo! hallway. Actually, I think it's like dinosaur, not a cat. Didn't dinosaurs go extinct millions of years ago? The chance that a dinosaur is in the hallway is the same as this sort of can being electric president. That's not much, by the way. Instead of making up crazy dinosaur stories, go away. Where'd you come from? 20 ton cat. In the hallway. I waited. So you expect us to believe there's a fort... 40,000 pound cat is in school? Sounds... That sounds a bit like my cat. What does it look like? Oh my gosh! <laughs> you know, I'm not reading all this. This is too much. That's the color of my cat. How big is it? Not as fat as your face. My face isn't that fat, is it? It's a size blue whale. There must be an exaggeration. It wouldn't fit in the school if it was that big. It's exactly the size of a grand piano. That's just grand. How many 40,000 pound pianos do you know of? It's exactly the size and the shape of a sock. Either those are some huge socks, or that's just one tiny weird shaped kitten. Either way, there's obviously no 20 ton can in the hallway. Okay, yeah. Anyway.
way. Back, back to this. That, that was way too long. Okay, let's get this penny. This locker is covered with new grounds and angry fake stickers. I wish I could say that it was my locker, but sadly it isn't. My locker is a clean yellow locker that's upstairs. The auditorium is only unlocked during school performances. That won't happen anytime soon, though. The door's locked and the lights are out. This count must be someplace else. Lunchroom. Egg. An egg on the wall. I'm just supposing the school ran out of decorations. What can I get for you? Hello, Miss Lunch. Hello. What can I get for you? Are you Chubb's mom? Yes, why? You're fatter than the sun! I can leave that. You Chubb's mom? Yes, why? No reason. What can I get for you? I like chocolate pudding. Sorry, pudding costs a dollar. You don't have enough. What can I get for you? I think I've changed my mind. This message on the... Whatever that says is quite appetizing. Think. We. Aren't. Having. Cool. Okay. Got pudding? Maybe. Macaroni. Macaroni, 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 macaroni. Put the cheese in the noodles. And what do you get? That's Greg. He's been sleeping for eight years. My old middle school teacher to sleep has been asleep for a few years as well. They must be relatives. Okay. Newgrounds. That's a Newgrounds poster on the wall. That's pretty much the best poster I've seen in, I've ever seen in a school ever. Pigs will probably be flying before I get out of here. That's true though. That won't stop me from trying though. I need the keys. I need the counselor's keys and then I'll be free. Pudding. I need pudding. Poster. Which one doesn't belong? The choices are three orange faces and one blue face. Just a hunch, but I think the answer they want is the blue face. Papers. These all say, oh man, that's what the panda said. Oh man, that's what the panda said. Sweet dudes, yep, yeah, that's, that's, um, that's foreshadowing for, uh, I think Middle School 5. Um, I think Mr. Reed made that poster. He's the librarian. Yeah, because this is a dream, actually. First game. So this last game, the second game was a dream. This is a dream, too. Nipping from window prohibited. The school is very strict about nobody escaping through that window, obviously. Of course, I wouldn't be crazy enough to jump out the window, even if I could. Yeah, we're walking around. Okay. Um, extinguisher. Forget the fire extinguisher. If we want to stop a fire, we'll just ask Zach. Somebody get me out of my locker. This is Richie. Help me get out. What's the combination? I can never remember. Isn't it like blobbles? I've written it down. It's in Mr. It's in Miss Audrey's room. So I need to get out of here. Tong. Tong. Kaha. Blockhead. Michael Swain is a genius. Janitor's closet. What do you want? Bathroom sink is stuck? Nope, not possible. Of all people, I would know if the sink was overflowing. I can hear a plumbing problem from a mile away. The hallway's a mess. Yeah, well, I gave up trying to clean the hallways. How can you get the hallways clean if the germ-covered students crowd the mul them multiple times a day? If I actually tried cleaning all the holes, I'd never get done. So I'd never plan to. Red comes and reaper spit. Sorry, I don't have any red crumbs and reaper spit with me. I think I'll leave now. Um, I think that tile got cracked when some kid dropped his drawing of an anvil on the floor. Of course. Okay, here's our locker. Nickel. Okay, what time is it? Why does this... Why does the only clock in the whole school have to be on a poster? B. Carrots are people too. Carrots are people too. They live, they die, they look orange. Or something like that. Okay, so here we go. So now I, now I can tell uh, Miss Odver about... Uh, what is the name? Richie, I think. Where'd you come from? Miss Odver. About Richie? 
What about Richie? Red comes and leaves it. What does that have to do anything with Richie? He's stuck in his lock. Okay, he doesn't know what a Koomba Troopa is. Neither do I, actually. Is there something else I should know? I beat the stuffing out of him. Yes! I mean, go back to class. Not Richie? What about Richie? He's stuck in his locker. This combination is in your class. Again? Do you think I should go to my classroom and look for the combination now? You smell like an elephant. Answer the question. Yes. I should probably leave too. Okay, now see this apple- this picture of the apple is eaten now. You saw the last scene it wasn't eaten? Well now it is. Could've sworn the apple in the picture didn't have a bite in it a minute ago. Floor fill for $200. I need more money. Door... wait, it's this one, right? No... Blah blah... Here it is. Nickel. Okay, there's nothing else in the other ones. I think. I see a peeled banana in the microwave. There's really nothing more to say about that. I was laughing the time I had coffee. If I remember correctly, our table caught fire. I was grounded for 10 seconds after that happened. Okay. So now, we can go up. Um. Actually, wait. Go, go back down. Go here. So this count is here. Bananas for algebra. Go bananas for algebra. I can't call that my favorite poster ever. Monkey around. Okay. It's a stuffed monkey doll. They're one of a kind. Cool, a trash barrel. I want one of those. Monkey business. Go monkeys. There's even a monkey on the blackboard. I hate monkeys. Okay. So now, back to the actual story. We can go here. To Miss Oddbird's room, get the combination. Found the combination to Richie's locker. Why is the goat? Why the goat does it say blobbles? Or not? To be or not? To be. That is the poster. Moo. The stars in this poster smell moo. That must be part of the Milky Way. This letter is green. The letter green isn't as awesome as the color six. I'm already angry! Spelling test. As stupid as mosh as I cool for that test. That's Miss that's Miss Oddverb. Isn't that odd? Yeah, pretty odd. Um, okay now, now that we know the combination. Okay, so it's upside down. So I I think it's eight seven. I think of five? No. Here, I need to look at this up and down. Oh, I know what I did wrong. This is, this is supposed to be an eight. Yep. Oh my god, my cat is really annoying. Phil, egg tree! Ah, the combination. Thanks. By the way, I'm collecting buttons. Okay, so here we go. So, um, let's see. Now let's go here. There's a button somewhere. If you find any buttons or badges laying around, show them to me. Um, there's a way to get a button. I forgot, like a keyboard button. Like, put right here. This last. Is your button making machine almost complete this last? Well, I feel silly to admit it, but I can't turn it on. It needs a switch or a button to even work. So we need a button to make a button. It doesn't have to be big. All I need is something slightly larger than a pistachio nut. Okay, actually, it might be in the monkey room, if I remember. Um, let's see. Yep, right here. Keyboard key. Okay. So now we can go here. Back to Miss Flask. Drag this right there. Okay, here we go. Um, so we need to clock the 
toilet, I think. So I'll go here, open that, put that in there, flush. Do I hear a toilet crawl? Okay, so now he's fixing that. And we can go here, go upstairs, go here, take uh, this, take the quarter, 75 cents. And I think, I think Richie um, gives us a quarter. Okay, yeah. Oh wait, I didn't, I didn't actually grab the button. <sighs> I forgot to grab the button. Okay, now let's go back to Richie. Yeah, nice. Here's my last quarter. Keep it. Yes. Okay, we're done. We are done. We can go to the cafeteria. What can I get for you? I like chocolate pudding. Yeah, that's a dollar. Yeah, that's a lot of chocolate pudding just for a dollar, by the way. I wish I could buy that much chocolate pudding for a dollar. Okay, here we go. Bam. Okay. Run! Run, Phil, run! Okay, so now we can leave. Now he, now we can go into the office. Hello, this is Miss Miss Mooses. How can I help you? You know, I'm just gonna. And why would you want to be such a counselor? I'm awesome. I failed to see the logic, but go right in. I, I'm not gonna do all that. I, I already have. I'm 30 minutes in the recording. To, and that's the girls' room. Except for stay tuned because in Riddle, in Riddle Transfer 2, um, we will be going in there. Okay, here we go. Let's get out of here. Yes! Finally! Oh. Now, I was, I was going to play Riddle School 4, but. Like, that only takes one minute, but I, like, don't have it enough time. Here we go. Get in my, get in my nice car. It's a pretty good car. So are you in, like, ninth grade or 10th grade? No, no, no. 10th grade or 11th grade. I think. Yeah, now, now you will see the flying pig. Wait, wait for it. There it is, there's the flying pig. So my time was like 30 minutes. Oh, that's, that actually scared me. Yeah.
guys this is gonna be the end of the episode if you enjoyed make sure you smash that like button also subscribe click that bell icon so you'll be notified when i make a new video comment down what you want to see next and also just like any um like just any suggestions or whatever you have for making videos um check the description because sometimes i write some important stuff in there and sometimes it can be funny yeah i'll see you guys all in the next episode Bye!